Hello and welcome to Miss and Joy's Spiritual Life Advice Channel. I'm Miss and Joy and I'm here to do your daily fast five for love relationships. We're going to pull five cards and see what the overall energy is for you. My Taurians, right, my Taurians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Tuesday, July 30th. Hello to my returning subscribers. How are you guys doing? And to any new viewers, welcome. You are all loved, welcomed, and greatly appreciated. If you have not yet done so, please take the time to hit like and subscribe. It will be greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you so very much. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get into your energy. My Taurian, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For Tuesday, July 30th, we're going to ask spirits of the ancestors, gods and goddesses, guardian angels and watchers, to please deliver a positive message for my Taurians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, Spirit, <clears throat> I have five cards with the overall energy of my Taurian for July 30th, please, Spirit. Okay. All right. Thank you. May I have three more cards, please, Spirit? Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups, the Justice card, the King of Pentacles, the Devil card, and the Seven of Staffs. Okay, let's see. This is plain and simple. Um, you could... <clears throat> Most absolutely find happiness in your life if you didn't have this King of Pentacles here with some toxic energy blocking it for you with the Seven of Staffs. Okay? So, I mean... I mean, I mean... I'm I'm just I'm just really seeing that you know everything that you deserve is being held up by it it's it's like somebody is is keeping you is holding you back it's like somebody is holding you back from getting what you deserve I I don't know if this is you I don't know if this is another person I don't know why the spirit why is the king of pentacles here please tell me more about this king of pentacles please spirit tell me more about this king of pentacles please tell me more about the king of pentacles please spirit it was trying to give me please spirit thank you oh beautiful okay so this is a long-term relationship that you've been in with somebody okay and this person is is they're obsessed with you with this king of cups energy okay You've left this person feeling out in the cold, or they left you feeling out in the cold with the five of coins. I got two more to clarify. The ace of swords and the queen of wands. So you realize the truth about the situation, and you pretty much put an end to whatever it was that was going on. The seven of staffs, right, the four of pentacles, and the queen of cups. So we definitely have... Uh, again this is really a situation oh but it's a it's a marriage or a long-term situation hmm. 
but there's definitely talks of behavior that took place at a point. So, <clears throat> I'm going to pull some Oracle advice cards because, quite honestly, I don't know how I would advise. I do see that there's toxic energy that has left you or your person feeling out in the cold, possibly neglected, mistreated, um... Maybe an air or verbal abuse or something of that nature or some truth that that was found out here with the Ace of Swords that <clears throat> I'm going to pull and I'm going to do an Oracle of uh, um, a, a Dark Goddess, excuse me, Oracle advice card. Um, this one, please, Spirit. Spirit, this one, Oracle advice card. Ooh, so this is something <clears throat> All right. All right, Sarah, please give me a dark oracle card. Goddess Oracle card, please, Spirit. Goddess Oracle card, please, Spirit. Hell Garden. Goddess Oracle card. Mm, Spirit, please. One. Goddess Oracle card. Okay, okay. Only. Right. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this person was a little bit, um, a little abusive possibly to you or my, my book. All right, um, we have Lilith. Equality, baby. Hmm. It's page 62. <clears throat> okay, you focus, I'll read. It says... What made you presume to be so high and mighty? Your self-ego has enjoyed looking down its nose way too often when you've compared yourself to others, and you'd much rather go off on your own and do your own thing your own way. Of course, your way is far better than anyone else's in your opinion. Whereas self-confidence is always encouraged, Lilith, the first woman of creation, reminds you that everyone is equal in the eyes of the goddess. She encourages you not only to admire your marvelous attribute, attributes, but to see the gifts in another's. Everything that is alive has its own place and unique energy to help this world tick. Harness your own strength and power and use it for the highest good. Lilith embraces the fact that you are not subservient to others, okay? You are not subservient to others. However, she will assist you in bringing your perception into balance so that you can defend your identity whilst embracing the equality of all. Okay, Dark Goddess's foresight advice says, Don't ever put yourself down or feel inferior to anyone. Walk your own path. Hold on to your own beliefs and don't be swayed by another's. You are as good as anyone else. Snake symbols confirm your transformation. Stand your ground for equal pay and treatment. Respect is key. Okay? All right, so whatever the situation is, and it may be, no, because the King of Cups is there. The King of Cups is there. Um, yeah, the King of Cups is there. So it's definitely a relationship situation, but you're not getting equal give and take in the relationship. And it's actually a very toxic thing, a very chauvinistic, or, you know, somebody's suppressing you. Somebody is holding you down, not allowing you to grow and be the person that you are and need to be. In the relationship, you're it's not evil equal give and take. And like I said, I'm 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 have I have a feeling of an air of like of maybe a verbal abusiveness, a verbal putting down, a ver a, a degradation of sorts verbally. Somebody dogging you out, somebody talking shit to you. You need to put an end to it. Okay. Um. If it's a situation that you feel is going to turn violent. 
please remove yourself from said situation. Okay? No one, no adults, no two adults should talk to each other in a manner that's nasty and disrespectful, especially if you're being intimate with an individual. You're exchanging your body, your intimacy with another person, your living space, your love, your energy. No one should be disrespectful. You should not be disrespectful to each other in that manner, male or female. Energies are fluid here. Relationships, period. No adults should be disrespected by any other adult. And children deserve respect as well. I'm just saying. Discipline, yes. Disrespect, no. All right? There's a way to communicate your feelings to a person, your thoughts, your ideas, your concerns to another adult individual in a respectful manner. There's no need to degradate, deg degradate someone. There's no need to put someone down. There's no need to, put, to talk shit to them. There's no need to be condescending. Okay? Even if you are smarter than someone, it, it doesn't mean that you take advantage of that person or you disrespect them or you treat them in a nasty manner. All right, so if you're doing this to someone, please get a hold on that. So nip that shit in the bud. And if someone is treating you that way, do the same. Get a hold on that. Nip that shit in the bud. If you feel like you can do it and remain in your relationship and that's what you choose to do, that's fine. I don't give outcomes in relationships here because with love, like I say in my bi-weeklies, Everyone should use free will in manners of the heart. So I'm not going to tell a person to leave a, part, leave a situation. If it's not violent or it's not an abusive situation that you can't get. Because some verbal abuse, so you just take that shit. But you can get a hold on a situation and fix it. So if that's what you choose to do, then that's your choice. But whatever it is, decide whatever you need to do to come out of the situation healthy and safe. Okay? For everyone involved. Alright Taurus, um, I love you guys. This is some serious shit. Heavy energy. Check back in with you guys on Wednesday. Love you. Bye-bye. A list of services provided and instructions for making appointments, payments, or donations is provided in the channel description as well as in the description of each video. If you like my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and share. And always remember to enjoy life.